Hi Wanderers, it's Courtney from Wonderfully Wander and today we are doing some crystal cleaning because back in uh, November, October of 2022, we visited the Ron Coleman mine in Arkansas, which was such an incredible experience. I would go 10,000 times over where we could go and mine our very own quartz crystals from their mine. And we collected so many. Um, on our Instagram, I have pictures of when we did that, but we've never actually cleaned the quartz crystals since our original dig. So we've been carrying them around and today I want to show you how you would clean quartz crystal. Here's the small quartz crystals that we picked up. I've got a whole bunch over here that we have wrapped for when we were traveling and then I have these ones here but you can see that it has the red peanut butter clay where you find the crystals in. So uh, you want to be able to get a toothbrush and some water and try and clean the crystals the best that you possibly can before you put them through this cleaning process with the cleanser because then and you have an opportunity to reuse it like more than one time which is great so we have the acylic acid right here I found a crock pot at the thrift store right here so this is only for the purpose for us to be cleaning these quartz crystals I've got some tongs I'm gonna wear gloves you know anytime that you're using any kind of a cleaning solution or chemical such as acylic acid you want to make sure that you are one outside very well ventilated having gloves having tongs anything to have the safety aspect um, before starting this process so we've got my little setup here i've got the crystals here we are going to um, make the mixture and we're going to put it all in there and, and it has to sit in the crock pot below 200 so just below boiling point for about three hours going to get started making this solution mixture so for a two pound bag of the oxalic acid oxalic acid sorry um you would want to do two pounds to six gallons of water well obviously my crock pot is not that large so we've done some math and we're going to break it down so i have my gloves so i can measure out how much i need i've already put my water up into the crock pot there so we're going to um get this measure it put it in, mix it together, and then I can start dropping in my crystals to start the, the hot process of cleaning them to make them perfectly beautiful, crystal clear without any of the residue. I've already put 12 cups of water into my crock pot and I need about four ounces of the cleaning solution. Oh my gosh, there it is, perfect, four ounces. Um, so that is more than enough for my tiny little crock pot once we have broken down the math. So I made sure, you know, I'm wearing my gloves right now. I'm going to stir it up and then I have more than enough for my big pieces because I do have this small quartz here, but I actually got some incredibly large pieces. So I have enough that I can mix it up later and do like the cool process, which would be like putting it in, in a container and setting it outside for like three days in the sun. So I'm just trying to, you know, hurry that along because my stuff's not that large. So I'm gonna put that into the crock pot and then I'll put the crystals inside of there and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, I got my beautiful crystals inside of there. I was very careful to put them in so that it didn't splash out on me or anything like that. And again, I'm outside so that um, the ventilation is very well um, circulated and things like that. But you can see, see this one right there. It's got that black on there. And I some of my clusters that I haven't even pulled out yet, they, um, you know, they have this stuff really, really far deep inside. Like that one kind of, you can kind of see there's like the, red clay real deep inside where I couldn't get it out. So this is gonna just make them shine and be perfectly clean and clear. And I can already see how much it's starting to come off, but I'm gonna put the lid on. Um, I'm gonna keep checking the temperature on it for the next three hours and then make sure that they um, cool completely naturally before I pull them out and rinse them off. Here's the after of, um, I put them in the water and I swished it around and drained it out to get all of the acid off. I did a water bath like, maybe four times and dried them off and that is the end result. So I'll put a before and after picture real quick so you can see what that looks like. These pieces also cleaned up so, so beautifully. Uh, it, there's no more of that red uh, rust color clay that they're in. I've got them sitting here ready to be wrapped up. You know, you can still see some 
little bits of earth on these bigger sections here, but that's mainly because they're deep within the center of the crystals rather than on the outside. So we got all of these cleaned up beautiful and ready to get um, prepared for storage. And I just finished cleaning up these ones and I am now getting ready to take care of the smallest of the larger cluster. And I'm really, really excited for what that one's gonna look like. This is one of my favorite pieces because you can see there's just so many little tiny clusters of quartz forming. And when I turn, as long as that stays focused, you can see there is a little small tower on the top of that that has formed. But what's really neat, it's, uh, it, it broke. Here's a, the, you know, the end piece has broken, but when I turn it like this, you can actually see that it is many, many points that have split and it's actually like three, three, four points all grown into one. It's a really, really unique piece. And see, you can see my finger through it now that we've cleaned it. Um, uh, the U.S. and Brazil are like the two top producers of quartz crystal mines. And um, the one specifically where we went to in Arkansas, the Ron Coleman mine, these points grow natural like that. They are not cut. They are not polished in any way. This is just a raw specimen straight from the ground. And I know in some of the other mines, they have to be cut that way to look this beautiful. So we're pretty excited that that's just natural from the ground and that we had the opportunity to, you know, harvest that ourselves. This is what the oxalic acid looks like after like three or four batches of cleaning. Um, you can't see it as much in the video as you can in person, but it's pretty green. There's some pretty guckies like floating on top and all of that leftover stuff that came off of the crystals themselves. So I'm going to neutralize this batch of acid. Um, I'm going to do that with just regular old baking soda. Um, you slowly put it in and watch it bubble and then as soon as it stops bubbling then it's neutralized and once it's neutralized then it's okay for you to dispose of. So I'm going to do that and then make a new batch before I clean the smallest largest crystal. And overall science is just pretty cool so thought I'd show you. <laughs> and that's just a little tiny bit of that baking soda but you want to Again, make sure you're outside, make sure that you are in a well-ventilated space. You know, you wanna add enough of that until it stops bubbling. Um, this, this is a pretty strong cleaning acid component. So we really wanna make sure that we are safe and that it's neutralized and safe to dispose of before we move on. <laughs> the bubbling is slowing down and it's you can definitely see the color change now, but that science is so cool Like that's wild Really take the time to make sure that you have neutralized that so that you can properly dispose it It took about an entire box of the soda um, We stirred it around multiple times just to make sure that there was no bubble now we're getting ready to mix up a new batch and start another crystal process I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was very informative so that you feel like you can clean your own crystals if you go on your own digs. It's such a passion of ours when we are able to find a place where we can do something like that and to just really enjoy what Mother Nature has to bring. So again, I'm Courtney with Wonderfully Wander. I'm going to come back with a part two on my smaller of the larger crystal uh, clusters and I hope that you follow on with that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time, Wanderers.